welcome guys to another episode on the extra mile my name is alex and welcome to a special episode here on the channel which is uh the series of tutorials about the content manager something that i've been fiddling with uh, for the past week or two and i've gotten great results out of a set of course it really transforms it into a completely different game and i wanted to share this with you guys um with a small series of tutorials why a small series because this software has so much to offer that I would have to make a, probably a one hour video to get through all of it in one setting. And I don't think that that's very useful for you guys. So I will kind of tackle that in increments, so to speak. And today we will start by installing the software, going over the basic settings and how to install mods, which is super, super, super easy with this software. So let's start in the beginning and go to Google and type in content manager, set to Corsa. There we Go. and this is the site where it came from acstuff.ru that's where you want to go and here you have the site where you can download the content manager and you can see uh, a quick overview of some of the key features here again there's so much that you can do with it we will go over the best um, settings um, in a second here uh, one thing that's really awesome is the shader support. You have very, very easy access to your, the shaders that you're running. In fact, Content Manager comes with a set of shaders that make the game look so much more pretty and realistic. Um, you have uh, day and night settings that work um, perfectly. You have different skyboxes that look beautiful. So much stuff. So this is where you want to go. You download it directly. Let's do that quickly and save the file. Um, it should download pretty quickly. There it is. Open file. And there we have it. When you unpack the file, you can pretty much uh, copy this file wherever you want to. We can open the readme, uh, readme here. Uh, installation, unpack, content manager, extra, anywhere. That's all. So just put this file anywhere where you can find it later on. Um, I don't actually, <laughs> now that I say that, I don't even remember where I put my content manager in the first place. Let's see. Um, content manager, content manager. That makes sense. All right. So yeah, you don't have to install it. You just have to unpack it and then you can start it. When you start it, you get to this uh, basic window here. So for this video, we will not go over the uh, shader settings, which you find here. We will do that in a separate video because there's so much to go through. Um, a lot of stuff here that you can activate or deactivate and then tweak and again a lot of good stuff what we will do today is focus on the installation which uh, we've just done and then i will show you um, how you can install mods and that is um, one of the great things about uh, the content manager is how easy it is to install mods so let's um, actually do this live let's go to um let's go to race department and download a nice car or track let's see what we find and then do this live so a set of corsa let's go for a nice car let's check out the latest ones um let's download the mini cooper because we do have the same car or almost the same car in automobilista 2 now i think it might be a good idea to compare the two sims i think that's exactly the same car anyway we'll download it right now we will save the file and usually what you have to do you have to unpack it and copy it over manually into your assetto corsa directory and there's a folder called content and there's a subfolder called cars and then you copy that over in there which is not too complicated but sometimes there are special fonts that have to, that uh, you have to copy to a separate folder so sometimes the mod installation can be a little bit more tricky and content manager luckily makes all that so easy because it does the work for you we will wait for the download to finish here and then i will show you all right our download has finished it's right here and all you have to do, check this out, guys. Just drag it, drop it. You see this little arrow right here that says one installing. And here we have it, mini JCW challenge.zip. There's a new car, install. That's it. Now 
your install is finished it unpacks all the files in the right directory and if we go here for cars um let's see mini probably m mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mini cooper there it is and it is installed as simple as that that's pretty <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any simpler. And the awesome thing is this doesn't only work for single cars, but also for car packs, which really speeds up the installation. This is a car pack that I've already installed, which we will have to cover on the channel very soon. These are drift cars. Alf, thank you again for showing me the ways of drift cars and drifting. Um, but yeah, you just move it over here. This will take a little bit longer to search through because... Um, it is 2.1 gigabytes and there are quite a few cars in here, but you just let it work for a second We will wait a bit until it's finished So and that is what that looks like in the end um, As I've said, I've already installed these cars So it would ask me here if I want to update all the existing files. I will not do that right now um, But this is how it would look uh, it would give you a list of all the content of that zip file that you've uh given it to analyze and you can well say i want only this car here i don't want the others or i want these two you can check which ones you want or not and then click install it's the same process and everything is installed the same goes for tracks by the way so um now let's assume that um you have installed all the mods that you want and you just want to go for a drive and that's where you want to go right here that is drive uh, you have basically the same options that you have in assetto corsa 2. Um, the cool thing is that you can um, customize uh, what you want with much more detail you can set up races with much more detail you can add uh, servers here that you frequent uh, often to your favorites so you don't have to scroll through the list all the time to find them because as we all know there are quite a few servers here um, it's not even done 3822 servers actually uh, are currently online so um, yeah you can add servers to your list of favorites that makes things a little bit easier and um, here you have your car selection very simple these are all the cars that i've currently installed i don't have that many mods um currently i started fresh a few weeks ago this is actually quite interesting drag cars another video um that's waiting to happen and here you have your tracks again nothing too special about that you can um select them by country or category um to uh, shorten the list a little bit if you have many many mods installed and here you have a few basic time settings, weather settings, temperature settings. Um, all that stuff is pretty much self-explanatory. Obviously, you can go into hot lap or time attack mode. You can set up a race here. And again, you have quite a few more options to do so and to uh, customize the races just the way you want. And um, that's pretty much it. You just click on go and it starts. Um, before before we end this first basic setup video, I want to go through um, the most important video settings here. Um, because one thing that's really, really cool about um, Content Manager, one of the many things, and that is that it shows you the average frame rate of your last session right here. So let's say you have a VR, VR headset installed and you um, need to keep the frame rate at 90 frames per second. Um, you can uh, check that after the session if you feel like ah, maybe it wasn't quite there there were a few stutters here and there and you can see oh my god okay that was only an average of 84.3 or something and then, then you know that you have to adjust your settings um, another thing that's really 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 awesome about this settings menu is these little things here so let's say, okay, this is uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing. I want to know uh, what these settings do. Maybe I don't know that much about all these words and I'm a little bit new to this. So you just click on this and watch what happens, guys. This shows you a visual example of that specific setting. But not only that, it also shows you the performance that is to be expected when you use this specific setting. And it shows you, if you, if you look here at the trees in the background you can see them change when you apply more and more 
anti-aliasing. Look at that. And we can see that we have a hefty 10% almost performance if, if we would use eight times multi-sample anti-aliasing. Really, really, really cool feature. For example, um, let's go to world detail. What kind of an impact does that actually make? So we can see low here, the track side objects disappeared. We can see a high. There's a little bit more detail back there. Um, so you can really see with every one of these settings, what kind of a performance impact is that and what's the visual impact on my gameplay experience. And I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that, that they went through the work and effort to not only test each feature individually in terms of its performance impact, but also give you a visual example of what this setting would mean for your gameplay. And as you can see, you can do that for most of the settings that we have here, which is again, super, super, super practical just to be able to configure the game just as much uh, or with just as much detail as you want or just as much performance as you want, or you can hit just the right balance uh, that fits your system. So uh, that is pretty much it for the first video, guys. Um, I would advise you if you're completely new to the content manager, just download it, just start it and uh, play with the settings a little bit. I would start with these settings here, try to get uh, a level of performance that you're happy with. Um, you can go through each setting here individually if you want and um, adjust it to your liking. And in the next episode, we will go through uh, the custom shaders patch and that will be a much longer episode because there's a lot of stuff to go through, but a lot of good stuff actually. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this uh, short little introduction episode. I hope you uh, found all the info that you need to download the content manager yourself and get started. And if you have any specific questions um, on each of the topics that I will cover in the, over the course of this tutorial, um, please don't hesitate to post them down in the questions. I'd be happy to answer if I can, or maybe someone else uh, who's watching um who knows more than i do about the content manager um can answer them them so um yeah that's pretty much it guys uh i will see you on the next episode tomorrow which will cover as i said the custom shader patch settings and uh, i hope you have a great day until then bye bye